An investigation at a Central Texas facility is sparking calls for a statewide overhaul of the foster care system. It comes after a former worker at a facility in Bastrop was accused of selling photos of girls who were survivors of sex trafficking or other abuse. Investigators said the man used the money to buy drugs and alcohol for the teens in his care. KPRC2's Andy Sirota is looking into the changes civil rights advocates are now calling for to protect these vulnerable young people. Andy? Christine, all of the girls between the ages of 11 and 17 who lived at the Refuge Ranch in Bastrop have all since moved out. The governor ordering an immediate investigation by Texas Rangers. An emergency call for a change in leadership tonight at the state agency that oversees facilities that serve underage victims of sex trafficking amid claims of abuse and exploitation at the Refuge Ranch in Bastrop. Everything starts with leadership and it trickles down. This happened on your watch. You made it very clear that you're failing the children in our state. One staff member was reportedly fired and is under investigation. A court document detailed how a former employee who was working at the ranch at the time allegedly sold photos of two youths in their care, then used the money to buy illegal drugs and alcohol to give to them. I was very, very angry. It was sad also. Republican State Senator Joan Huffman of Houston says over the last 10 years, lawmakers have doubled the state's contribution to the Texas Department of Family and Protective Services. She sits on a special bipartisan and Committee on Child Protective Services assembled last week by Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick. We just need to figure out why it's not working. We have put a lot of money into the problem, so clearly money alone, which is the case in a lot of serious problems, will not solve the problem. Elijah Rising, an organization that fights sex trafficking, believes there is a supply chain going into trafficking and that it's coming from foster care. There needs to be foster care reform. We need to pay attention to ways that we can better improve the system so that this doesn't happen again. The special Senate committee is meeting this Thursday in Austin in the Senate chamber of the state capitol. Reporting live in southwest Houston, Andy Sirota, KPRC 2 News.